hello sfdc folks i hope everyone is doing good so today i am going to discuss about how we can create a lightning data table directly from flow we don't have to uh, code anything in lwc neither we have to create any aura components now we can create data table directly from flow itself suppose so as usual i will take a scenario that on the on the home page of my screen i want to display the list of cases which are present in my org as of now i will not use any filter just display the cases on the home page itself so that they, they are very easily accessed without navigating so what we'll do is we'll create a screen flow first that i have already created just to save time and i will show you how we can how you show you step by step how we can configure that lightning data table in our screen flow so the screen flow is created the first and foremost step to create a lightning data table is to get the records that you want to show them so we have to use a get record element here first we have to fetch the cases that we want to fetch that you want to feed into the data table that will be displayed so let's let's guess the and we don't use any filter as of now because we want to retrieve all the records present in my org retrieving is done now we will add a screen element here to show our data table let's name this screen component as data table component from the now from the left hand side under components search for data table this is a newly introduced feature inside flow so many of you might not be aware of that let's name this as data table okay now there are few things that you have to configure in order to display your data table correctly and make this feature work the first thing is it, it will ask for is the source collection that is why we created a get record element to get the list of cases that we will feed here which it will use to display the records okay so we'll use this cases from get cases record element that we have created previously now let's move to the next configuration part which is configure rows so what what selection mode you want to give to the user whether he can select multiple rows or just single row or it, that table is just to view the records he can't modify or select anything so if you select multiple then checkbox will appear beside every row so that you can select multiple rows if you select single then it will appear as a radio button let's select as single only let's move to the configure columns these columns are nothing but the name of the fields that will appear as the column of the table so let's choose as case number first that should appear as my first column and you can also change the label of that column you can make it customized it should not be mm, same as the field name you can change it like this case number done then you can add other fields as well as the columns subject and description so these are the three columns that i want to show on the data table it's done now other things are optional you can leave as it is let's get it done and save it let's activate this now remember that name of the flow is lightning data table that we will use in our app builder to embed here edit page let's add the flow over this component and choose our flow that we want to display here it was lightning data table okay let's save this let's go back to our home page again now you see this is exactly the standard lightning data table which salesforce privileges to see us for every kind of object and that we can use in our flow itself since we use the selection mode as single so this appears as a 
radio button so that you don't select multiple records okay thanks for watching